Happy Monday. How you doing? Happy Blessing Day. Today's the day we call for the blessing. Everybody calls today. My phone rings all day long because people call to receive the spoken word for word blessing of the Lord over them. This is not my blessing. It's God's blessing. All I'm supposed to do is say it over you, is to speak it over you. He commanded the priest to speak that blessing over the people, word for word. And that's what I do. And it causes people to be blessed of the Lord. It causes people to become rich, to have more money than they need, to live in good health and abundance. That's what that, that's what that's for. That's what the blessing of the Lord is all about. I want to talk to you today about the secret to the wealthy place. There's a wealthy place. A wealthy place. You have to find the wealthy place. Everybody has a wealthy place. I found mine. I found mine. I hunted for it for years. So for so long I hunted for it. But I found it. I'm going to show you how that works. Say this with me today on this happy Monday, this happy blessing day. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Actually, Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. And I have the certificate to prove it. What I want to do today, before we do anything else, I want to bless our country. God gave the priests the authority to speak the blessing over the nation. He told the priest to speak the blessing over the nation, and he told him how to do it. And that's what I'm going to do with our country. And over right now, in the wonderful name of Jesus, and in the power in the name of Jesus, I say to the United States of America, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Our country is blessed. Make no mistake about it. That blessing spoken over this country will pull this country through. Don't despair. Don't be upset. Nothing else matters but the blessing of the Lord. Amen. The wealthy place. Share this video with everybody you know, please. On uh, our YouTube channel, if that's where you watch these videos, and a lot of you do, uh, hit the like button on these, and text everybody in your in your uh, in your contact list, and tell them to go to YouTube and type in Pastor Jim Kibler. If you watch this on Facebook, hit the invite button at the on the top right in our group, our Pastor Jim Kibler group, which there's 450 people in there right now. And it's growing every day. So tell people about this. Hit that like button and invite everybody in your uh, friends list. If you've invited them all, invite them all again. Go through there. Go through there every, every week or two and invite everybody. And people will watch these videos. Tell people you know who are sick and broke to call me. You could save their life. You could save their life. Because this is, make no mistake about it, this is a miracle ministry. It is probably the only phone miracle ministry in the country. I guarantee it's the only phone where somebody can call and get a miracle. And we have it happen all the time. I mean, amazing miracles. The secret to the wealthy place. How many of you know that there is a wealthy place? There is a place, if you can get into that place, you 
will become wealthy and stay there. If you find your wealthy place, if you find what makes you wealthy, get there and keep doing what you're doing. We have found our wealthy place. And we are doing things a certain way. And we have not stopped. And some you just need to keep doing it. Don't worry about nothing. Just keep doing it. Psalm 66, verse 12, says, Thou has caused people to ride over our heads. Men to ride over our heads. And that, is, that, that means you've given us leaders. Inspirational leaders. Everybody needs leaders. We need leaders. We need a hero. You need, a, you need somebody, a spiritual leader. Everybody needs a spiritual leader. I have one. I have one. Amen. Everybody needs one. Everybody needs one. Thou has caused people to men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. How many of you people have gone through fire and water? I guarantee you, a bunch of you. Probably everybody I'm looking at right now. And then he says, but thou brought us out into a wealthy place. A wealthy place. A wealthy place. A wealthy place is where you become wealthy. It's where you become prosperous. It's where you get to the point where you're rich, where you have more money than you need. I'm not talking necessarily about millions and billions of dollars. I'm talking about more money than you need. Money to pay your bills and lots of money left over. To buy things. To have cars in the garage that are paid for. To have a nice house to live in. To have a good place to send your kids to school. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. And that's where God wants us to live. Make no mistake about it. God does not want you to live in poverty. Poverty never glorifies God. Never glorifies God. Let me show you something here. Just in, in Psalm, what is it? Psalm 37. Psalm 37. Psalm 37. 25, is that it? Mm -mm. Psalm 35, verse 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. God takes pleasure in your prosperity. Now, he wants you to live in a wealthy place. But there are secrets to getting into the wealthy place. The number one secret, the first secret of the wealthy place is you have to get out of the place of poverty. You can't move into abundance and move into your wealthy place where you're living, when you're living in a place of poverty. Now, I'm talking about spiritually. I'm not talking about moving out of your house. I'm not talking about quitting your job. I'm talking about spiritually. Everything starts in the spiritual realm. Your wealthy place is a spiritual place. And when you get into your wealthy place spiritually, your finances are going to follow. If you're in a, 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 a place of poverty, spiritually wise, you're going to be broke. I was. I know all about this, folks. Let me tell you something. I am an expert on poverty because I lived there for so long. People say, well, Pastor Jim, you don't have any idea what it's like. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. I was born poor. I grew up poor. I lived in a poor house. My mother was poor. She didn't die poor, but she was poor for a lot of years. A lot of years. I grew up, I didn't realize I grew up poor 
until I graduated from high school and left home. And then I thought, I got to thinking one day, you know what? I grew up poor and I didn't even know it because my mother never told me. I was raised by a single mother. Back in the days when that was not fashionable. And I grew up poor, broke. I mean, bro, we were the poorest people in the neighborhood. Now we always looked nice when we left the house. Nice clean clothes on, hair combed, our hair was cut, our face was washed. We always looked nice when we left the house, but we didn't have any money. We didn't have, I went to school, I didn't have no money in my pocket. I never did. But I started working, then I made some money. Then I had some money to spend. And I gave a lot of it to my mother too. Amen. Praise God. Your wealthy place. God will bring you into a wealthy place. But before you can get into a wealthy place, you have to get out of Egypt. You got to get out of Egypt spiritually. Egypt right now is still, you know, the, the place of bondage is still very real. But right now it's spiritual. We're, we're not... People don't live in Egypt, but they live in bondage. Let me tell you, they live in financial bondage. Debt is financial bondage. And this is spiritual. You've got to break these spirits. I broke out of Egypt one night at midnight when I realized that my dad had been cursed. Now, I, I had a father. He came around every few weeks. Sometimes every six months, he came around. But he was still my father. Amen. And, and he would speak over us. And he didn't realize he was doing it, but he did. He told me, he said, you're smart. You can do anything you want. He would tell me I'm smart. Well, I grew up smart. But his father had cursed him. Had cursed his finances. And put him in a spiritual place of financial bondage. That's where my dad was. And of course, it passed down to me. Now it missed my brother. And it missed one of my sisters. But the rest of us lived in bondage. Lived in every work. Just struggled to make a living. Until the Lord showed me. And I went outside at midnight and broke that spirit. I left Egypt at midnight. And I came out. I came out of there. Now it took me a long time to get into the promised land. But I left Egypt. And I moved from financial bondage into the wilderness. You can't even have a wilderness experience until you get out of Egypt. The children of Israel had a wilderness experience that lasted for 40 years. But the first thing they had to do was get out of Egypt. I got out of Egypt and I started heading for the promised land. I mean, I was going there as fast as I could go. I was picking them up and putting them down. And I mean, I was just running and I was struggling and I was seeking God and everything. I knew the promised land was in front of me. I knew it. One of them, that, that night at midnight, I knew I was going to come into the promised land. I was going to come in to the wealthy place. The only problem was I didn't know how to get there. I didn't have a Pastor Jim. I'm telling you what, folks, if you had any idea how important it is to have somebody to tell you how to do this, I didn't have that. It took me from the time I left Egypt at midnight, which was probably about, I'm thinking it was somewhere around 2006, until I got into the promised land, which was 2013. So it, was about, it took me about seven years. It's not going to take you that long. We're going to continue this. I'm out of time for Monday. Make sure you call me today for your blessing because today is blessing day.